Hey love, if you know me, then you know that fall is my favorite time of the year and I love, love decorating for the season, but I never knew I was able to create such beautiful design myself by using the Cricut machine, so I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring this video. And I believe I was able to create outdoor pillows and also a welcome fall floor mat with my Cricut Explore 3. I love it you From guys. From personalized gift to greeting cards to personalized mug, I mean we name it, this machine can do it all. From vinyl to paper to glitter paper to course from fabric it has the ability to handle up to a hundred material and all the tools and equipment that you need is all available self-explanatory love decorating for this season if you love creating personalized gift I use the heat press to create the pillows I mean the possibility are endless so the Cricut Explorer 3 is a new generation of the Explorer family I know it is like top notch okay but it's definitely budget friendly and also all the tools that I'll be using can work for either the Cricut Explorer or the Cricut Maker or previous model if you do have it Um, in my Cricut Design Space, now Lee uploaded my image, just thousands of free image for you to select from on Cricut Design Studio and also you can upload yours as I did. So now I want to make sure that my sizing for this project is perfect for what I need it to be and my floor mat that I will be using for this project is a 30 by 18 so I want to make sure the sizing is perfect for this particular project. Now if you're a visual person just like I am, you can create an image that looks like the project that you're creating. So I will be doing that. So I will make an image and also create the color of my format. That is so cool, right? So you can lay your design on top of your image to see how it will look like on the finished product. Now that I have my design exactly how I want it to lay on the finished product I am going to remove the shape which is the brown part um, that we created and we are going to make it and send it to our Cricut Explorer 3. Next I'm adding the roll holder to my Cricut Explorer 3 so it can hold my vinyl as we are getting ready to cut. Not only that it holds your vinyl or whatever material you're using for your project, but it also serves as a blade at the very top um, so you can slide and cut your material once you are done with it. One thing I love about this machine is that it measures your material before it starts cutting to make sure you have enough for your particular project. So once it's done cutting, I'm going to use my blade to cut my vinyl and then store it away. Now that my project is done, I am going to use my weeding tool to remove any excess and guys, it was so cool seeing my design come to life. So now that I'm done weeding my vinyl, I am going to lay it on my floor mat just like so. You can use any outdoor paint to finish your project, but I'm using a liquid rubber spray and I have it outside and I also tape the edge down so it won't move as I'm spraying um, and seeing my design come to light. Guys, this part was very exciting. Also remember guys that all the tools and everything that I use will be linked down below so make sure you check the description box. Luckily for us it was a very nice sunny day so after 30 minutes we checked on our project to see if any touch up was needed and we used our weeding tool to remove any excess vinyl. After creating this floor mat, I am going to be creating so many more around my home. I love it so much that I brought it inside and I laid it over another rug. Now I'm going to show you how I was able to create my beautiful fall pillows. 
To create my outdoor pillows, I use my sublimation printer and I also use the Cricut Easy Press Maker 2. The first thing I did, I make sure I had the right temperature on my Easy Press. If you don't know how to do this, you can go to Cricut.com. It will tell you exactly what temperature it needs to be set for whatever material. And I also use the Cricut Easy Press mat. So the mat is used as a protector from the heat um, from your surface. So that's what I did. So once my Easy Press was at a right temperature, I after I applied the heat press to my material and I have it set at 30 seconds and it is that easy you guys once the 30 second is up it will let you know and that's the way you're able to make your pillows so the possibility are endless of what you can create let me know down below what you thought about what I create for fall I can't wait to share more DIYs for Christmas birthday teacher appreciation day the possibility are endless with the Cricut Explorer 3 check my link down below and make sure you get your hands on one Cricut also offer a three easy payment on their website check the link down below I see you guys very soon in the upcoming video love ya Mwah.